If you're a fan of ARPGs, lately you've been foaming at the mouth. There has been a ton of new releases in the last little while, and people that like this genre have definitely have not had a lack of choices. And just to give you an example of the latest releases, No Rest for the Wicked, Hates 2, more recently, V Rising. I can go on and on. The ARPG genre and the releases that have been just dropping left, right, and center, like Kid in the Candy Store. Now, I personally love this genre, and if you follow my channel, you'll know that. And there's one ARPG game that came out of early access and full release in, I believe, February, that has kind of been a victim of these choices and the just amount of choices that players have nowadays in this genre. And that game just made an announcement, and I want to talk about that and cover it. And I kind of want to bring this game back back up to the discussion because I personally feel that this game is gonna be a keeper and just it's getting it's getting its ducks in a row and unfortunately it is lacking certain things and then you couple that with all of the new releases in this genre well when you combine that it's fallen by the wayside. And the game I'm talking about, Last Epoch. A beauty of a game. It's a shame that it's kind of been put to the side. Now, it's put to the side. One can argue why or why not. But some of it is self-inflicted. And really, if I could hone in on one thing, it's the end game. Uh, it lacks end game, not only in variety and depth, um, like it just lacks end game and that gets felt when you play the game and a lot of players do not want to put up with that so the game has fallen if i can say this fallen by the wayside the numbers are showing that however they have released this roadmap which as you know or may not know in last epoch they call them cycles so right now we are in cycle one and they basically, if they follow other ARPG models where basically, for example, Diablo 4, a season is three months. If they follow that, this is typically, we're looking at a year's worth of content for Last Epoch. First of all, like, kudos to 11th Hour Games. Who does this? No developer communicates what potentially they will be dropping a year out like unbelievable i if you've watched my other last epoch videos i i can't talk more highly about this development team they're so transparent they take community and player feedback so seriously but anyway this is what they're proposing as a content roadmap and as you can see here 1.1 1.2, 1.3, These are all the um, the roadmaps. It, it, it's unbelievable, and I'm not going to take a deep dive. But first of all, applaud for them doing this. But if you look, so like I said, we're in cycle 1.0. And 1.1, 1 .1, uh, I would imagine, although we do not have a timeline. I would imagine that we are close to 1.1. Again, if you followed the three-month timeline, give or take, um, we are looking at a end of May, June. Now, we are already in the beginning of May, um, so only time will tell. But this is unbelievable. The one thing I see consistently in all these four cycles, which is literally a year's worth of content, is a huge focus uh, on end game. Now, the pinnacle bosses, uh, hairbringers and pinnacle bosses, random encounters, nemesis, evade, dodge roll mechanic. Oh my God, that's 
who doesn't like evade and dodge roll? Uh, that's going to be epic. But of course, the pinnacle boss, this is going to be what is going to like hit a home run for these guys or not in the next cycle. Um, and then again, primal hunt and game event on 1.2 era story chapter prim primordial uniques primordial sorry and then in 1.3 monolith of fate expansion which again that's end game uh unique false echoes new procedural side zone so sounds like more content to do and then in 1.4 now this is 12 months out introducing skill sigils wow like that's crazy the fact that they got skills nailed down in this game and then new end game bosses again end game if you see a theme here it's very clear what they want to do it's all end game end game end game and then transmog and die systems which there's always a huge part of any games player base that they want to they want their characters to look good and they want to be able to do that so kudos to 11th hour games for laying this down one year like i said and clearly they have heard the feedback from the community loud and clear end game end game end game and you can see that it's touched on every cycle and content drop so this is really good but Part of this article is also the fact that they, when it comes to the pinnacle bosses, they, again, are asking the community, the player base, for feedback. How do you want us to address the release of the pinnacle bosses? And let me elaborate. I won't read what they wrote. I'll just summarize it for you. Basically, the issue is, as you may or may not know, Last Epoch has not only online mode, but also offline mode. And their dilemma is with the start of a new cycle, players that play online and play in the cycle will have to create and start from zero and create a new character. Well, if a player is not playing the cycle, okay, they have an, they have, they, they have a, this, they have an advantage because they already have a full-fledged character, pimped up, ready to kick butt. So if they drop the pinnacle bosses on the cycle and non-cycle at the same time, clearly players that do not play on the cycle are going to have an advantage because their character is already buffed and ready to go. Um, so they'll probably will kill the pinnacle boss first. This is all about who gets to kill the pinnacle boss first, right? To, to give everyone a level playing field. So they're asking the community, again, asking the players, how do you want us to deal with this? So here is the questions, and I'm gonna read them for you. Question, and actually, I'm gonna fill this out live with you on this video. How do you feel about a small delay before releasing the Pinnacle Boss to offline and legacy realms so that players have an even playing field for attempting this content during launch? How do you feel about a small delay before releasing the Pinnacle Boss to offline and legacy realms so that players have an even... I strongly agree with that. I do not... I want to give everybody the same level playing field. And if I'm being completely honest, this these games that have cycles, seasons, okay, etc. You are it's a life service, right? So to speak. And I think you need to cater to those players. Now, don't get me wrong, I do not feel that players who do not play every season or every cycle should be discarded i'm not saying that however if you're making a game that is going to be completely updated every three months every cycle then i think you kind of need to tailor the game to them um so i strongly agree that there has to be a delay with um releasing the pinnacle bosses to offline and legacy realms i strongly agree with that in my opinion if we 
do go with the proposed plan from question one as a fail safe, we would want to have a time delay action that releases the boss regardless of whether someone has cleared it or not. This prevents the content from being locked inadvertently. What is the longest amount of time you think the pinup glass should wait to be released if nobody has cleared it? Please note that the post times would have the caveat of happening on the next available business day. So 48 hours after cycle start, one week after start. Um, so no time limit. Release the boss only. Ab yes, this is the one I agree with. This one. Okay, so what I'm saying here is no. Um, the people that are playing the cycle need to be able to kill the boss first because that's actually where the leaderboard exists. So you are not putting a disadvantage to offline or legacy players because they're not being tracked. The only track, to my understanding, is the online cycle leaderboards. That's where there's actually a race. So to me, once a person in uh, online cycle has killed the pinnacle boss, you can release it. Um, so however long that takes, that's when you release it. And th that would be my response. Question three, if we go with the proposed plan from question one, what is the shortest amount of time after the pinnacle boss has been cleared before it unlocks for all game modes? Uh, the next working day, three days, always wait for the time limit chosen in question. No, the next working day, once the boss is killed online cycle, release it. Let, let the other players enjoy it. Okay, is there a specific game mode within Cycle Online that should be preferable to the unlocking condition? Is there a specific game mode within Cycle Online that should be preferable to the unlocking condition? Eh, I, I, to be honest with you, I really, any game mode, Cycle Online Hardcore, Cycle Online, Cycle Online Hardcore Solo, not all modes. And to be honest with you, I really don't have a preference, but uh, let's pick this one just because this is a bitch of a <laughs> Whoever does solo hardcore, my God, <clears throat> I've done it and I've died. Um, okay, let me sim. Okay, I'll submit that later. Um, but there you go. Like, <laughs> what a concept. Uh, asking the players how to do it. And I'll tell you one thing, having done other uh, questionnaires from 11th Hour Games and Last Epoch, the feedback they get, they actually share the results and the results are actually implemented. Um, so this is not just lip service. They are actually doing it. Anyway, I wanted to just do a quick update on Last Epoch because it's kind of been put on the side and I personally loved this game. Now I have stopped playing it too because like I said, it's been a victim of all these releases. So, um, but I do miss playing it. And I can tell you, don't sleep on last epoch because this game checks a lot of boxes already and they had just started full release. They're only in their first cycle of full release so don't sleep on this i'm not the only one that feels like this this game the potential unbelievable and i personally think this is a game that will be in my repertoire for many 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 years anyway that's my comments let me know what you think how are you feeling about last epoch have you forgot about it do you miss it Eh, the game sucks. There's no end game. I don't like the combat. Like, let me hear your thoughts. I would love to hear it. What do you think about them releasing a year's worth of a content roadmap? Like, unheard of. Uh, there are no other developers that do that. So let me hear your thoughts. I would love, love to debate them. <laughs> anyway, if you could also like, comment, and subscribe on my videos, it would help my channel immensely so if you could do that i would greatly appreciate it and as always hope to see you next time take care the opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine healthy debate is always encouraged hate 
is never welcomed. So get over it.